Underdog Fantasy is the best and easiest place to play fantasy sports and their pick'em game. Sign up now with code Poodle and you'll double your first deposit up to $100 in bonus cash when you make your first deposit of $10 or more. It's simple. Deposit $100, get $100 free. Good luck and have fun. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden 24 franchise video and today we're going to be going over the top 5 QBs to be building in franchise. So the way this works is I do plan on making a best quarterbacks video. And although that might sound self-explanatory, sometimes the best rated players are not the best player to use based on releases, based on key uh, stats, athletics as well. So for this video though, it's about building. So these are the quarterbacks. You're going to start at a pretty low overall slash my usual threshold going forward on these types of videos are probably like 83, 84 and below. Um, 82 is still a buildable point that still requires 17-ish XP points to get up. So that, that's, that's building for me. But uh, before we get into the video, guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to comment down below your favorite quarterback to be building in Madden 24 franchise. And make sure to check out Underdog. The link will be down below in the description. Use code Poodle to match your first deposit up to $100. Let's get into it. I do want to start with an honorable mention, which is going to be Will Levis. Now, keep in mind, like I'll say in the next part, his age. He's 24, I believe, to start this year. That is old by rookie standards to build. He's one year away from being 25, which pretty much means his, his you know, his XP bar starts going higher and higher. Again, the intangibles, his 80 speed and his 94 throw power. That means that he'll end up about an 82 speed, 83 speed with almost a 97 throw power. He's going to be a Mahomes type build. Depends on what release they give him. He'll be great, but you have to capitalize in season one. He must win rookie of the year. You might, you, you're going to probably have to push for best QB. If you were to get MVP, best QB, rookie of the year and offensive player of the year, you're going to get him into the 80s probably in one season. Superstar dev. Suddenly you're cooking. He's a quarterback to build. If you don't get him out of that 60s, 70s area in year one, after 25, you're really going to be behind the eight ball. So you really got to capitalize in year one. The first quarterback on this list is CJ Stroud, rookie quarterback for the Texans. Now, a few key things to note when building a quarterback. Age is super important. Throw power and speed. Accuracy in the early goings is important. I don't look too much into it because eventually it'll be all 99s if you do build them. But CJ Stroud is the only rookie quarterback of the big three that is 21 years old. I believe Richardson and Bryce Young's birthdays are both before the release of Madden. They are 22 to start the year. Stroud will be 21. That gives him a big, big boost uh, in terms of keeping him on this list in general. And that, that's, a, that's a huge boost to me. 21 means you're going to get another year of his prime building years. Um, I, I think that's really important. 82 speed. It's a bit on the lower side. And honestly, usually I'd have no problem with that, which is why he's at five. But in Madden 24, it's the return of the mobile quarterback. Mobile quarterbacks are super, super uh, useful again. They can run, although keep in mind, they did mention that injuries will be returning for quarterbacks. That really wasn't the thing last year, but 82 speed is, will get the job done. That means that if you're doing a rollout, you can cut it up field. If you see the lane, that means if the pocket collapses as a lane up the middle, you can take it. It means you, you, you can use your legs, but you don't, you, you won't be running around ends. You won't be running crazy. You won't be breaking long runs. The other thing is he only has an 89 throw power. Again, if that was higher, I would have really loved this build. Um, it's kind of like a slightly better Joe Burrow build in terms of speed and throw power. Not bad. And another key thing here is that he actually does start with some really good accuracy, which is one of his highlights of college, which is super accurate. All above 80 throwing stats, which to me is great. That means that right off the rip, you're going to be able to use him. Of course, this game is ability-driven, so keep that in mind. Next on the list, we got Trey Lance. I believe this is his third season in the NFL. He has not played too much. Now, one thing to note with Trey Lance is that this is going to be probably his final year on this list for me, primarily because he's now 23. Next year, he'll be 24. So this is the last chance to really build Trey Lance. Everything overall is pretty low. The only thing is with a quarterback, starting lower is not horrible, only because it's a quarterback. They're going to get the majority of your stats. If you could score and you play, eventually a quarterback's going to get built. I'm hoping he starts with star dev. They may drop him to normal dev at this point. That's going to be a key thing here. But in terms of, again, the intangibles, the, the, the athletics, 87 speed, gonna make him super, super competitive with his legs. Like I said, 87 for me is like the threshold. 82 is too low, 87 is a threshold to where you can really start to incorporate legs into the game plan. That could be read options, that could be um, power, QB power, like that's where you can finally start to incorporate some leg type plays. You can actually think about doing it as a first option at times. Uh, his throw power is going to be a, where is it, 91. It's a, it's a solid build. It's, it's just a really solid build, he's still young. And moving on down to his throwing stats, they are lower than Shroud's were. They're not great, but when you get when you're talking about building a quarterback, I like to look at the future. What would a 99 version of this guy look like? You're gonna be looking at a guy with almost 90 speed, a guy with almost 94 throw power ish. Again, it depends on upgrades, and a guy with max out throwing. So you really can't go wrong with a guy like this. Next quarterback on the list, we have Trevor Lawrence coming in at number three. Now, again, last year on this list for a few reasons. First, he'll be 24 next year, and 
He's not going to be an 82 over roster this year. He's probably going to start hopping to the high 80s, low 90s. Again, 82 is near my threshold for what I consider buildable. 87 speed, 89 excel. It's going to end up being about 89 speed and probably 92 excel, 91 excel. Super quick, super fast. So that means he's a mobile quarterback, which is something that I'm putting at like the top of my criteria this year. I really don't want to be playing with a quarterback below 82 speed and 93 throw power. So you're going to get that up to about a 95, 96, which means he's going to be a slinger. He's going to be mobile. He's like six foot six, six foot five. He's just a stereotypical generational quarterback type build. Uh, he's still buildable. He's only 82. You still got to gotta put some work into him. Got to have some good years. Move on down to his, uh, his accuracy. And you're looking at a guy, again, that's super accurate. And I believe he starts with Superstar. So right off the rip, you're going to be cooking with him. They don't have the best wide receivers. They do have Ridley, not traded, doesn't have ability. He's going to be kind of a problem in terms of, you know, beating man coverage and other stuff. But Lawrence will get it done. Build him. He's going to be a great quarterback. Next on the list, number two, we have Bryce Young. Bryce Young, I was a little hesitant to put on because of his throw power, but I'm comparing it to Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts is a 90 speed, 86 throw power QB, who's a beast. He has, he's going to have better. He's going to better throw power. He's going to end up going to about a 90 throw power when all said and done. He still has about close to like 30 spots to grow in terms of XP points. His speed will get to close to 90. So you're looking at a similar to Jalen Hurts build. And the key thing is he gets superstar. That does mean he will get some abilities off rip. They won't be great because he's 74 overall. He actually might need like a point or two to get his first ability. But you win rookie of the year. You have a good season. By the end of the season, come off season, going to his sophomore year, you're going to be having some of those ability slots filled up. By season two, three, if you really cook with him, you're looking at a, an X Factor traded out quarterback and the hype. You know, he's Bryce Young, he's a rookie. It's gonna be it's gonna be great. And some of the other things he has, he has decent agility at an 84, and I believe he has great change of direction, 88, which again, mobile year, that's going to be useful. That's gonna be able to, you know, run outside the pocket, stop, cut in. A lot of those cool little moves that you can do with a quarterback uh, when scrambling against a user defender. So that's gonna be above 90 COD. And I really, really just love the accuracy he starts off with. 87 short, 83 mid, 81 deep. Personally, for uh, Bryce Young, you're probably going to want to get that short and mid up just because his throw power is at the highest. You're probably not going to be looking to go 80 yard bombs all the time. There's thresholds in this game, so I'm probably upgrading a short and on his first two or three upgrades, get that to 90, hit that threshold, and then I'll start working on the rest of his game after that, throw on the run, etc. But he's super well-rounded. You really can't go wrong anyway. you build him. The number one overall quarterback in Madden 24 to build is Anthony Richardson. That's clear cut. I don't think you could debate that. One thing to note, though, his accuracy is not going to be the best. So season one and season two, remember, he's 22, 22 to 24 is like the prime kickoff, kickstart their career building years. You've got to cook in those years. His accuracy is going to miss a lot of throws. You're probably going to have to force feed the pass game. Like you throw a few picks, go for it. Like, you know, picks do play into dev trade and awards, so don't go crazy, but you're going to have to let it, you're going to have to let it fly. I would avoid running with Taylor. Taylor's pretty built already. Don't, don't worry about that. You're going to want to pretty much tank it out and build this guy. You don't want to fall into the trap of only using him as a mobile quarterback his first two years and remember mobile like quarterback rushing stats don't play the biggest part into dev trait upgrades it's really the passing yards being top four and passing rushing can help but you still have to be a passer so you don't want to fall into the trap of running all year the first two three years with him and he ends up being a 78 overall star dev still by year three and he's age 24 25 that, that would ruin him you're going to need to pass you're going to have to take the highs and the lows of his pass accuracy he's at 91 speed he's at 92 excel He's going to be one of the faster quarterbacks in the game, probably Kyler Murray-esque athleticism. And then, I believe he has great jumping too. Yeah, 93 jumping, but his 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 throw power was where uh, was really what sets him aside over here at 95. That's going to be close to a 98 probably when he gets his 30 upgrade points. You're looking at Mahomes, uh, you know, Josh Allen, but faster. It's, it's going to be great. But this accuracy right here, 76, 75, 76. It's not great. You can quickly get it into the 80s. It'll be usable. You're going to miss a few flat throws. You're going to miss some slants. You're going to miss out routes. Take the good with the bad. You got to build them. You know, make the mistakes, lose the games. Just make make good reads. Play smart, but make sure you're passing super heavy. You do not want to waste this development. You want you got to win rookie of the year. That's what I jump started. He's not superstar like Shroud. Uh, I like Shroud. Him and Shroud both aren't superstars. So both of them require you to throw heavy early to get his dev trade up because building at star dev is significantly harder than building at superstar and X Factor, as you may know. But that wraps up today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Those are the top five QBs. Please comment down below who your number one QB is. And if it wasn't on the list, let me know down below. Interested to see if I missed someone. I don't think that you could have picked a better five than these, but let me know. Make sure to sub, make sure to like down below and comment, like I just said, and check out Underdog. See you guys later. I'm out. Peace.